Hello guys, welcome back to another brand new video and today we are back in Minecraft 1.17 Hardcore Survival Series So today is the episode 2, it's the second episode of today So, wait So, uh, today is the second episode and in the last episode, if you haven't watched it In the last episode, we spawned it in this 1.17 Hardcore Survival World right here And then we constructed a simple uh, starter house like this Again, right? I am not a builder, just to let you guys know, right? I'm not going to repeat anymore in the future episode We started a small farm right here And then in the inside we got the first level which is like the basic needs And then we got the mine down there And then in the second floor which is the storage And then we got a bed right here So what we're going to do in today's episode Today I want to actually get some starter farm completed Like uh, get a pig farm or a cow farm completed or whatever farm And then we're going to go to mine some more And we're going to aim to get uh, some more diamonds, right? So I guess without further ado, let's just get started mining Oh yeah, I just realized that this place is still uh, not covered So I guess uh, we should mine out that area first for our mining Because like, oh yeah, another thing, right, is that uh, when we heard of mining, right, back in before 1.17, right, we used to mine at Y11 uh, yeah, right Right now we are at Y10 I heard people said about mining in Y5 for the best diamond resources mine at Y11 or 12 or whatsoever stuff So today we're going to experiment uh, a bit ourselves So we're going to say we're going to uh, mine at Y level 11 first Like the normal Y level that we're going to, going to mine with Oh, that scares me That is scaring me so hard I'm so glad we have the torch here Otherwise we... Would be suffocating to death Yeah, this is not a really good place to build our stuff So, yeah Okay, let's let's see What can we do about here? Can we go up one block? Yes, we can We can go up one block here Okay, good Good Oh my goodness, that scares me I don't want to end it right now Oh, there's even some more iron This is just scaring me This is just scaring me so hard so this gravel pit really scares me I really thought I'm just going to be suffocating to death at episode 2 2 minutes and 30 seconds into the video And then now I'm just basically mining and in strips at Y11 There we go, we come across our first ore, redstone It's like for some reason I switched to hardcore and Everything I do become much more uh, safer Maybe not safer Wow, those raw gold looks pretty cool, right? We got those uh, wines right here, they emit light We call that uh, luminous objects Oh, there's a zombie, there's a zombie There's a zombie in our caves How did this guy get in? Uh, this must be something Yeah, light level under 7 Okay, let's get this uh, up and running Oh! There we go! Diamonds! First diamond in today's uh, episode One Two Okay Two Three Four Five Six Six diamonds! That's not bad! That's not bad! So after mining that diamond, we continue mining for some ores You can see in those few clips we have mined some redstone, some iron And then later we will come to a cave where there's lava, and then I figure out something very good Oh! Second diamond of the day Okay, I need to think of a way to block this lava right here Let's block this first, right? Wow! Now we got second diamond This is good, this is good Guys, right? Remember, always when you are mining those coal, right? When you want to find diamond, right? Check the coal, right? This might be Diamond near the coal section right here. Always check. Okay, right. The axe won't be too much stuff to do. I'm gonna place a cobblestone here. Let's do that. Let's block it. Okay, let's block. Oh my god, that is scary. That is scary. That is scary. Let's block it. Okay, let's mine the ores that we can mine right now. Let's mine the first diamond. Saving diamond mission. Okay No! No, no, okay, let's block it Okay, good Okay, guys, now we are back in here, right? So, uh, after we mine for this amount of time, which is 
about 20 minutes. We mine about 20 minutes in Y level 11. We got uh, 10 diamonds, right? We don't really want to worry about other ores. We are just focusing on mainly on diamonds, right? Now we're going to actually mine in a different level. Right now we are in level 10. We're going to mine in Y level 5. Right now I'm actually eating a snacks. This snacks is pretty good. It is uh, with cucumber. Let me put on the camera and show you guys. All right, here you go guys. You can see that I'm on the screen right now. This might be the only time in Minecraft 1.17 Hardcore Survival Series I will have my face cam on. So here you go. Guys, there's the snacks I'm eating right now. Okay, look at this. Let me uh, just get one slice up here. They are pretty long. You have to see. They are pretty long slice right here. And those are cucumber slices and then um, I basically just slice them and I forgot to uh, clean it and then they are how do I say this they are like uh, filled with uh, vinegar sauce in there so it sounds like it's a pretty bad mixture but let me tell you guys this is extremely good you should actually try it let's get back into the Minecraft so guys now we have mined a diamond and yeah my keys is not working a bit well so now we have mined our diamonds let's actually create some gears I guess so Wow, I really want to create all of them, but I cannot. I only have 13 diamonds. We need 8 more. So, right guys, right? So, we currently have all protection on iron, right? So, uh, I would say our iron helmet hasn't have broken yet. As, I, as, as at the start, I said before that we're going to get a full uh, diamond or like half diamond. Well, that's not going to be the case instead, right? We, we might be, right? To create a sword, we need to cost two of them. So that means we have chance to create this. And yes. Okay, good. So now let's actually uh, start creating some diamond gear. I'm afraid that we could not get the chest plate because that costs eight diamonds, right? So uh, let's just uh, get the sword in first. Okay, there we go. A diamond sword. Okay, now we got 11 diamonds. What should we do? If we do a leggings, we got four. Okay. And let's do that. There we go. We got the advancement cover with diamonds. So now what we are going to work on is that we're going to uh, create a farm, a starter farm again, right? So at the start, I might say uh, we might build a pig farm, we might build a cow farm. So I guess we're going to build a cow farm. Cow is going to be like the most uh, greatest like regeneration food, I guess. We are. So what we are going to do, wow, those crops already grown. Look at this, right? So what we are going to do is that we're going to find an area, maybe like just behind our house or like make a brand new area here just to like put a cow farm, I guess, right? So uh, let's see, what area? I think we'll just put it right here, right? This would be the best area to do it. So uh, I just have another idea. Instead of actually uh, using the deep slate uh, thing to like do the background, we can do it for the flooring, right? So. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to uh, craft those into uh, polished dip slate blocks right here. Okay, now we got a few of them. We're going to uh, use a uh, half, just like some oak wood. Going to create some fence gate right here. Uh, I just forgot how to create a fence gate. No, that that's the wrong time. We have to do a two stick right here, and then this. There we go. Now we got a fence gate. And then now we just have to uh, put it on here and that will be done. Looks pretty bad. <laughs> I have to admit because it looks really bad. And I have a feeling, right? I feel like if we can add uh, lanterns, then it's going to be better. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we need uh, iron ingots and a torch. Easy. That's a lot. I I'm not expecting that this much. Okay, how many lanterns? We can create eight lanterns. Okay. Okay, now we have the lanterns, we can just put it on here, and then here, and then at the back, right here. There we go, this is looking much more like a farm. Okay, there we go, now we got the double fence gate, now we just have to use the polish uh, deep slate thing, right here. D polish the slate, just to like fill in the walls, I mean the ground. Okay, there we go, now we got the farm completed. Now what we have to do is to actually get some cows, but first we need to get wheat and the way to get wheat right and the way that we can eventually to get wheat right is to get through farming which is right behind here we already got some crops going that's good but we need some more gratefully i got some bones right here let's go into bone meals and it's raining great okay let's see if we can get some wheat right here there we go now they are all wheat we can 
uh, gather them, and then we can plant some more, I guess. Okay, now it's a big question. Where is the cow? First of all, you might think that finding a cow is easy, but no, actually no. It took me quite a while to actually find the cows, just to get one cow, and then I found another two, three cows, just have to use the wheat, and then uh, follow it back, and hope the cows would get into the area. Okay, there we go. There we go, let's get into here. I don't actually need the sheep though, so I'm sorry sheep. I'm sorry, I have to kill it. Okay, so then, now we got the farm completed, we got babies happening, we got infinite food resources right here. What should we do next? Well, let's go to the nether and have some fun, I guess. So, uh, before we go to the nether, we have to gather 10 obsidian, right? Okay, now we have gathered this uh, 10 obsidian right here, and now we just have to get large amount of cobblestone and start actually uh, decorating the place. I wish we should, like, you see, right? I shouldn't actually throw away those like uh, blocks that we mine, you know, because they come in handy. Look at this gravel, and we got tough blocks. You know, they, they all come in handy, and then just throw them away. Look at this, everything is just coming together, you know. Okay, what do we have next? We can create uh, an exercise there. No, I'm not going to actually do that. Um, let's say I think you need a stone cutter to uh, get the different types of stone, I think, right? There we go, now we got a stone cutter. Let's put it, can I put it here? Yeah, we can. Okay, so guys, I have never used a stone cutter before. Okay, what can we do? Wow, that's what we can do in the stone cutter. So good, so amazing. Wow, I didn't even know about this. You can just do this. That saves so many stuff. So I guess what we can do now is to basically spin around. And I guess, uh, let's start with the top floor. We can just like place it randomly like this. And then there we go. There's even a wandering trader over there. Okay, let's just place some more of them randomly. Randomly just put it like this. This is like the best way they can do it if you don't have like an auto scroller or you are too lazy to like put the items around it. Okay, now we can put the stone. The stone, right. Now we got the two main blocks in here. We can start putting the stone in like uh, this order. Okay, this looks awesome. Now we got the plates ready. We can start building up the portal frame. So we want to have the portal like here but we want to have a background on it so okay there we go we can continue adding the background up here and then let's just add it the space right here yeah that this looks pretty awesome i like this i like this feeling right let's actually go to like a pretty high place to see it right just uh let you guys feel like how does this look like so let's go about here so we can see like the entire house and you can see that this just looks amazing right so we got the portal and then we got uh, the ground and then we just got like the staircase right here okay now is the time the big moment to enter the nether so i guess without further ado let's hope we don't get a bad spawn in the nether let's go okay we just load in i think there we go we need to go deeper and we are in a cave fantastic no way to get out Oh, that's the lava pit. That's the lava pit. Okay, we got some gold here. Okay, we can actually get to a safe place. I'm really scared to like hit something because I don't want to attack those pigments, you know, right? If you attack it, good luck. Oh, there's a magma cube. There's a magma cube. I didn't realize that. How is that spawning here? It should be spawning at uh, the basil deltas, right? This is one of the most terrifying parts of the entire series so far. Wow, okay, let's actually get to the Crimson Forest first, because that's, that might be like the main goal of this episode. I don't actually know what to do with those uh, Crimson Logs. Let me know your ideas down below in the comment section so I can have a look, and then I will design an idea, and then just to do it, I guess. Oh, there's some piglins, there's some piglins, that's not good, that's not good, let's go back up first, let's actually hide ourselves first, we got some uh, gold right here we can trade, oh my goodness, that's not good, that's not good, let's go back up, let's go back up, let's go back up, this isn't good, oh my goodness, let's go back first, let's go back, this is not safe at all, this isn't safe at all, let's, oh my god, oh, 
OMG. OMG. Okay, we have to return back to the uh, overworld fast. Because, because this isn't safe at all. Finally, we can go back to the overworld. This is so scary. Like, in the normal nether, uh, in the normal survival world nether, right? If you die, it's fine. You can respawn. But this is hardcore. You can't. I keep reminding myself whenever I go to like mining or I go to do uh, hunting for animals or something like that. I have keep reminding myself, this is hardcore, this is not normal survival. Once you die, that's it. You're gone. The entire world is gone. Anyway guys, that's today's episode finished. If you do enjoy it, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like, that was really awesome. Click the like button for notifications so if you miss out any new videos. Bye guys.